Okay, so um, the realm was back up, and uh, I, I have a feeling that Fort Patrick got a little griefed. So, um, Patrick told me about it last night, so I'm just gonna clean it up. Shouldn't be too difficult. Considering that all the deep sight that's missing is literally on the floor. But let's go ahead and repair the wall, because if I don't, mobs are going to get in here, and that's going to get ten times worse. Yeah. Uh, my voice is really weird today. Hmm, whatever. Now, I technically did design some of Fort Patrick with Patrick, so shouldn't be too difficult considering I remember where everything is, but even added stuff after we finished building. <sighs> so, we need to clean this all up somehow. Um, and I'm not going to do everything, I'm just going to clean up the blocks, leave it in a chest essentially. Maybe, you know, mob proof it back up again. Just looks like whoever did it just mined a bunch of blocks and then spammed those said blocks all over the ground. Or they just had a lot of deep slate. Actually, no, they took all that deep slate. This is just random deep slate the person had. Now, I'm, my suspicions are on Parker. Because, you know... I think Parker's base, you know, Parker's base got griefed, but I'm just gonna guess and say it was Parker. I'm not gonna. Now, I would advise Patrick to lawsuit Parker, but uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not sure we can do that. And I think this is basically war, so that's gonna be great for this river. Ah, the... uh, it's lovely having all this stuff back. And while I'm here, I might as well renovate Fort Patrick to make it not necessarily like, stronger, but like more mob proof their designs i don't know we're gonna have to redo it anyway so might as well add some better stuff to it for instance this little hole in the wall has existed for too long so i'm gonna probably fix those up This is surprisingly not very griefed, honestly. Like, I would, I would say, like, 10, 10 blocks of diamonds. Not the, yeah, 10, 10, I would say 10, maybe 10 blocks of diamonds, maybe a stack of diamonds, 10 diamonds, you know. Kind of depends on which economy you're looking at, considering we have, like, super mega inflation on new beginnings, so. Generally, a diamond it normally is worth, like, a three diamond blocks or something. Which really isn't very good, but if everyone has extra, you know, it just kind of goes around. Of course, it's better than deflation, like that one of those other servers before I started recording this kind of stuff. Where that server's economy legit just crashed, and I, you couldn't really do much about it because, you know, diamonds, a diamond was worth more than it used to be, and Everyone was basically set, and no one got on. Now, technically, I guess you could say it was inflation, because diamonds were actually worth more than a diamond, generally, on, like, you know, if you compare it to, like, I don't know, like, Hermitcraft, maybe, I don't know, 
something like that. You know, ten di ten diamonds for you know something. I don't know. I don't really watch that many Hermitcraft videos. It's cool, cool server though. Um, generally on there, you know, you got ten diamonds for like a stack of concrete powder or something. I don't know. Which obviously there is no economy on this server. Well, well there is, but not in the way that Hermitcraft or like Empire's SMP might have. Or like literally any other Minecraft SMP ever. Just because it's not really how trust works on the server. People just kind of... People generally follow the don't steal rule. But like in the shopping district. It's basically whoever mine, whoever takes it gets it honestly. Why is this not... Oh, that's a fake block. Yeah, we basically don't have that kind of, you know, gentleman's rules in a way, which, believe it or not, causes problems. Also, Fort Patrick is, like, very under mob proofed Like, this is, like, very surprising. Or, or that was just broken by whoever blew it up. Let's see. I guess we should clear this shelter away because there's no salvaging this. Why the heck is the nether portal? Like, who covers the nether portal? Like, what? Okay, um, I just need to redo most of the structure in Fort Patrick, honestly, like, now it's not going to look good for a little bit, but afterwards it's going to look great. Now I need to go to sleep, because I need to kind of do it in the, in the morning. Oh, and by the way, uh, I think what I was just doing is kind of illegal because Patrick said yesterday after the grief that you have to have a permit to enter his land, which is kind of unenforceable, but technically me going over there is illegal. Now, I'm sure he'll grant me a permit, but I obviously don't have one right now, so... Because he hasn't made them, so I guess if there is none, that means I just can't go in. <sighs> wonder where the closest bed is. Do not touch unless Jack or I come. A lot of books. Cauldron, water, let's see what else we got, where's my bed, okay, phew, there's like zero beds on the server, there's like more ender chests than beds on the server, I, I, I'm not joking when I say that, like there's one under us at the gold farm, <sighs> There's like there's one in the World Height Tower, one in the URFS complex, one at Nick's base, uh, maybe one at Fort Patrick, but that's probably gone now. What is it, Coco? You looking at boys? Coco, there's a window there. You can't you can't eat the boys. Oh my goodness. Donnie, Riptide Tridents are much better than um rockets now you might say oh no they're not it's probably because your server isn't a coastal server and what i mean by that is like you're not just like on the coast or whatever 
you know, you're not just, that's a good way to put it. Like this server, look at the map. There's so much ocean everywhere. And really you can just find water wherever you are on this world. So that's why I believe that it's just better to have tridents, at least on this world. Now I'm not gonna talk about any other worlds cause I don't like I, maybe some worlds do better than this or are much worse than this at trident travel but this world is pretty good and I actually ended up getting a lot of people to do it which is nice because that means I don't have to pick a creeper farm let's see First of all, this doorway just needs to just go. I, I can't, I can't. It's so bad. Bada bing, bada boom. Might as well take this down as well. Because I don't necessarily know how Patrick Bunch 3 model this place. But, generally, I think we should just, first of all, it's just, I don't know what was being planned here, but, I think there's just more towers coming, might as well build those now. I'm not gonna be able to replace the flag, but I can replace everything else. And now I can actually fix something that's always infuriated me about these towers is that one side of this one is deep slate, one of them isn't. So I'm gonna be fixing that today, right now. Or actually, actually, I could fix them entirely. Nah. Let's see, so that tower over there has a, a bar, floor, another bar. That's what it's. Yep. So I have a general idea what I need to do. And then the entrance is on. That's it. So I'll just put the entrances on these sides. Ah. Oh, and the instant damage are stores like destroyed, but I'm not gonna go down there. I can't fix that. So then, yep, deep slate floor. You know, the base structure of Fort Patrick really is pretty nice, but once you start getting into it after the budget ran out and we just kind of started slowly adding onto it, it really, it really degrades. But that's why I'm here to fix it all up, make it better. And probably want to make a secret base somewhere, but I'm not in charge of that. Imagine if I could like time lapse this, that would be nice. Fortunately, I don't think my editor can do that, so. That would be the cool though. I 
And apparently people actually like my Stormworks videos, that's surprising. But I mean, breaking reality is fun, so... Running low on deep slate, but still have a stack or two left. Yep, yeah, we'll be good. And now the Fort Patrick floor plan is actually finished. Because last time it wasn't. We just kind of didn't finish it, and it was weird. But now it is finished, and this looks uh, pretty nice, actually. All cleaned up. And now we'll dump all of this in here for rebuilding. Welp, um, four Patrick's. Oh wait, oh wait, 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 I remember, I remember what I needed to do. That was what I was, need. that's what I was confused about. I needed to place the stairs down. Made a little bit too many stairs, but. There we go. Now, I, I'm not going to fix that, but. Yeah, so. One second, get some more food. There we go. Well, Fort Patrick's, uh, it's not exactly, um, you know, fully finished and, you know, perfect or anything, but. Let's go see how the, the leg empire's doing, because looks like his shack is still, uh-oh, oh, phew. Oh, Probably would have survived that, but which I definitely would have, would have survived. Let's see, yep, pretty nice. <sighs> I feel like I should build something big again just to get me occupied, you know, do some like a mega project again. Like not Obviously not that big, but like, like an office space that's actually just a storage building. I don't know. Like in here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but. <sighs> okay, I'm really tired today. But yeah, somewhere, somewhere in here I need to build like a big old office space building or something. Because that would be cool. Let's see. How big. If I made an office space. How big would it be? Because I probably don't want to have it over here. But like. Let's see. So that's actually their land over there. So I can't really do anything. Over there. I could build on the north but I don't really feel like that you know let's see so this is Anthos Embassy let's see what's going on at Parker's Nick's base actually I could probably just ride the minecart that would be nice instead of using my electra just for the scenic and you know Looks cool. Let's see. What? What's in this? Is this out of my... Nope. Oh, I know where it is. It's probably one of my extra inventory shelter boxes. That make my inventory look nice and clean. Um, well, a boat and iron. I, I'll 
I'll just I'll just make a new one, honestly. Could you imagine if I left the minecart down there and it was just a complete waste? What did I say? complex to look kind of normal let's just keep moving Again. But first of all, I'm gonna check Patrick's apartment and my apartment. Make sure everything's still. Get my parrot still here. Patrick's apartment still destroyed as ever. Here we are in space, they're looking like a capital. And but there's a thing I'm missing on sec. I'll fix that. I'm sure there's like a powered rail in here. Just need one. Just gotta say, this part of the line track is pretty nice. Pretty much everything around Nick's base is really nice. Like, he never really builds anything big, but he always builds, like, really nice stuff. Bruh. Uh, yeah, Parker's base still... Extremely griefed as ever. Let's 
Yeah, this is like. Never actually been up close to this before. Those chests. Oh. Dang. Yeah, that's, um, it's pretty destroyed. Okay, well, um, don't really know what to do for the rest of this video, honestly. Um, I could go mining off cam for a little bit, like, because I, I imagine x raying on video is pretty boring. And just... <sighs> Also, um, what was it? It was one of the, um, one of my videos didn't upload. Maybe it was Stormbricks, I think it was. One of those didn't quite upload. So, um, sorry about anyone that's waiting for that Stormbricks video. Taking, take a little bit too long to upload. So I need to cancel it. Um, it will, I'll try again sometime. I guess that's, uh, that's it for today, so bye.